What concerns me about this series is it's gonna be tainted, twisted, upside down. Do not kill yourself in Kimmy's bedroom. Give me the gun. G give me the gun. Who the blazes dreamed that up? I don't believe for a minute that he ever considered killing himself. He's too much of a sociopath to consider hurting himself. Being that this case is still so talked about 21 years later, it's exhausting. If I wanted to achieve closure, it's not afforded to me because our case is so high profile and constantly being dug up. If I could talk to the producers of this series, I would say you need to honor the people that were murdered. You can't forget them. My son was a hero, tried to help somebody else. And in any way you take liberties with this case, shame on you for doing it, it's wrong. Well, Fred, it's good to see you and Kim again. Good to see you. Uh, you haven't seen it yet. You've seen the promos. What about the promos bother you or trigger things in you the most? Um, for me, it's a sense of, uh, it's provoking some anxiety. During the criminal case, we weren't really kept abreast of what the evidence and the facts were, and so there was a feeling of not being in control. Mm -hmm. The trailers and not knowing what's coming with the series is sort of evoking that similar feeling. You had an issue with the promo that, uh, of the scene of, of O.J. Tr considering killing himself in, in, the bed, in Kim's bedroom. Right. Kim Kardashian, um, not me. Kim Kardashian, not Kim. <laughs> Sorry. Well, but, yes. um, what was your issue? Well, my concern about that was that the, the name Kardashian had, had no relevance, no one even knew the name during the, during the trial. Now all of a sudden today, because the Kardashian name has become something that everybody recognizes, that now that that was used as something that maybe was an attention getter, it's just troubling to me because there was so much going on at that time that had nothing to do with today, it's 21 years later. Well, there are revelations that you talk about in the book that are included in the series, and one of them is that O.J. went to the Kardashian homes, home threatening suicide prior to the Bronco chase. Yeah. And was, was this a manipulation or was it serious on his part? to your knowledge? Well, he, he was threatening suicide. You know, whether he was actually ever going to do it is something, is something we will never do. Can I just respond uh, to, to what, what Kim and Fred said? And, and, you know, it reminds me there is a scene in, in episode three where Marsha Clark is talking to the actor playing you. And the, 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 you are saying precisely what you said here. Why is my son a sideshow? And Marsha Clark says, I know how you feel. And you say, no, you don't know how I feel. And that's something that I has always been part of my thoughts about this case, is that we never know how you feel. We can never appreciate the pain that you and your family have gone through and the Browns have gone through.